MJ with Shaws of Sunset here at the Rumor Fix Bar at the Sundance Film Festival with the talented and very funny Rex Lee. Welcome to Sundance. Thank you so much. What brings you here this year? I'm here supporting a film that I'm in called Advantageous. It's in competition in the U.S. dramatic competition. Getting a lot of buzz, definitely heard about it. We had some young talent here earlier today, Matthew Kim, who is also in the film. I'm really excited because I saw the teaser for your Super Bowl ad that's next week. A week from today is Super Bowl Sunday. Tell me about how it was like to work with Brett Favre. <laughs> that's, that's not how he says it, but what that's fine. He? I don't have a problem with however you want to say it. How does he say it? How does he say it? He, how says, do you say it? he says Favre, which makes no sense based right. on the way it's spelled. Right. But I'm not going to question him. Because anybody in the world can pronounce their name however they want to. Or mispronounce their exactly. name. Exactly. <laughs> it amazing. was, you know, it was amazing. Uh, they flew me to New Orleans, uh, which is a city I've never been to. Yeah. So I was excited for that. And Brett Favre is a really nice, intense, but nice guy. And he's very smart. Really? Because we all see him as this tough pro baller. We never see the funny side. And in this commercial, it looks like you guys played around. Yeah, and well, we had fun playing together. And he is funny when he wants to be. So, yeah. So, obviously, I live for Entourage. I got so excited. I couldn't sleep the night I found out you're making the feature. And it's coming out this summer. Tell us, please, about that movie and what was the most exciting part of getting back together with the, with the crew and cast? Um, I think the most exciting thing is you don't really uh, appreciate how much of a family you become when you're working together day in and day out. Um, because I just thought, oh, I have this cool job and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna work at my job. But then once it ends and you can't see those people anymore, you, you do miss it. them. So coming back, it was it was like a family reunion. It was amazing. And you're not his as Jeremy Piven's assistant anymore. Is it correct that you broke off and opened up your own agency? Uh, no. Um, I, I got a promotion while he was still at that agency, and then he left the agency. And I think I was still at the agency he left. So I didn't start my own agency. Okay. So the only con the only thing that might be confusing you is. I can't believe I remember all this. The only thing that might be confusing you is in the, whatever, in the universe of the show, there was this episode or two when Adam Davies, who was at another agency, right. sort of like poached me. So right. I was at this other agency. But afterwards, I came back to Ari and I was at his agency. And what would audiences be looking forward to seeing in the movie? Do you have any teasers or anything, any kind of... I am the worst person to ask about that because I am the most closed mouth about it. So um, there's going to be um, a wedding. Someone's going to get married. Oh my god! I'm not going to tell you that? who. Okay. And um, anyone getting a divorce? <laughs> well, I think someone got a divorce before the movie starts. That's right. I've already told you too much. <laughs> I'm shutting up now. Okay. So I know you have another project coming in March. Please talk to us about that. Sure. I'm on a TV show on ABC Family called Young and Hungry. And uh, our first season was last year, and we were lucky enough to get a new season. So we're in the middle. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. We're in the middle of shooting that right now, and it's interesting that my one week off was the week of Sundance. So That's I came perfect. here. Yeah. And I know that you had a tweet saying that you survived a day without needing your <laughs> scarf. So it's really warm. We're enjoying warm weather here, right? Well, yes, but I'm kind of a wuss, and I get cold easily, so. The whole day that I went without my scarf, uh -huh. I was just congratulating myself every minute. I'd be like, "It's so cold, and I'm not wearing a scarf, and I'm and I'm all right." That's today, awesome. I, today I'm bringing my scarf. Today you'll have it and a hoodie. And my hoodie. You look warm. It was so nice to talk to you. So great to talk to you. Thanks so much for stopping by. We're at the Rumor Fix Bar, wrapping up with Rex Lee. So excited to have you. The Sundance Film Festival.